You know, when we first thought about this about a year ago, having the, the event, um, we were very, um, felt it was very important for us to um, help government agencies think about um, doing things um, faster, quicker, um, doing more with less. And typically when you use the word agile uh, in our business, you think about agile development, which is obviously a very important concept um, that is used in the market today. Or maybe agile acquisition, which is you know faster acquisition. When, I, when we thought about this concept of um, you know, agile government summit, it was more about helping um, federal agencies and thought leaders uh, getting insight into um, bringing solutions uh, back to their citizens or constituents in a um, faster, more efficient, and effective way. So our concept of Agile is, you know, how do we take advantage of what's available in the market today and you know, faster time to market, faster, faster value. I think, the, I think obviously by having, coming to a, a session like today is, is a great first step and being open to new concepts and new ideas, hearing from trailblazers and thought leaders in both academia and in industry and in government that have um, done some of these things and look at best practices. But I think it's, it's, a, it's a mind shift that you know, I have lots of meetings with lots of government executives in my current role. and. Um, this concept of you know, getting um, to the mission and getting support and solutions out to, whether it's in theater for, for the warfighter or out to citizens and constituents or to their own employees in a much faster way is really you know, what's keeping everybody up at night right now. And there's so many uh, budget constraints and, and initiatives that you know, they have to make decisions. I talked to someone um, a few weeks ago where they normally looked at decisions within each line of business. Now with budget constraints, they say, you know, not only do I have to look at each line of business, but I'm making decisions between lines of business. And so do I cut here or do I cut here? Not do I just cut within the budget. And so this, this idea of you know, making these analytics decisions in an agile environment you know, it becomes even more critical. I think there's a lot of examples. Um, I think um, one, one thing that we're doing is we're trying to help with solutions you know, out in the market, and I'll give you a couple examples of that. In, in key areas where the government is trying to transform, areas such as analytics, which is uh, to us just an important transformational uh, concept and, and, and practice that is happening all over the place. Um, in areas of cloud computing, uh, mobile and social are really the four big areas that, that we see um, opportunities for the government to become um, more efficient and more effective in, in how they provide um, services and support you know, out to their, to their mission. Um, one example in analytics is uh, this concept of insider threat, where um, instead of you know, uh, doing things where they're you know, putting out um, homegrown systems, there's technologies out there today that can look at non-obvious relationships, that can um, look at entity analytics and really help um, them get, you know, in short periods of time, get to a solution that they can actually um, scale up and get out, you know, into into the field in, in a much much quicker rate than than traditionally they've done. Um, also, in areas of social collaboration, uh, we've done some work with some agencies where we put together. Um, um, we actually hosted a, a, a conference where um, everybody had a sample of a of the collaboration on a tablet, and they were able actually to see it. In, in real time and get a feel for it versus just a concept in a PowerPoint paper. So we're trying to actually get the tools in people's hands. So it's really, uh, it's very transformational.